heavy hitters out full force. Denny said nasty. Oh shit. We're gonna get them. Go far with a high yacht cast. Tie one up. Big fish, big fish. Uh -oh. I might have found a red. Brow hook. Brow hook. Oh, dude, it's on there. It's on there. Blue shoe. Danger, huh? You gonna play kickball over there? Cook them up for you guys later. There's that vein, just like on a snook. Pop it, just like that. It's gonna make that meat taste a whole lot better. The legend. Denny's on. Look at that form. That's the form you need if you want to catch blues at the jetty. I gotta reel mine in though before I end up in a rock. Let's see the flip technique. Not to overload the rod. Perfect. Got him. Very boom. It's a boom, boom, boom. He's water skiing. Water skiing. Get him, Josh. Oh, I thought you had one. That was someone else's. Blue chew. Blue chew. Not the normal snooker. 
your target, they're fine. Very, very. Come on, come on. Stay on. Ah! Throwing it right there. There you go! Look, he flew off. All right, so we got a couple mackerel, a couple Spanish mackerel. We're gonna go ahead and clean those up. We got our Danko knife. This is the one I'm using today. I'm pretty sure this is the nine inch blade. Um, I'm using that to cut them up. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to cut up mackerel. A lot of people think of mackerel as a trash fish. They are very good if you take care of them right. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get to that in a second. So we got two very solid mackerel here. Uh, this one I actually caught, the bigger one I caught in the cast net while catching bait in the morning. So that's why you guys didn't see that one in the video. We're going to save him for a second. And the way we're going to do these, two different ways. The first way is just our normal fillet. So we're going to make a cut, angle it up so we get our head meat. And then just work down that backbone like we always do. with just the tip of the knife. And these fish are very cold, which is a huge plus when filleting any fish. The cold makes the meat really firm and a lot easier to fillet. So once we've got our initial cut, now we can go in and just go deeper until we get down all the way to the backbone. Yep. Now we're gonna go back in the middle, get the tip over the backbone, angle it down, and we're gonna push out right there on the bottom. These things have very small bones, so we can just cut right up through them like that. There's one mackerel fillet. Another way of filleting them, you can cut in like we did last time, angle up towards the head. Just turn the whole knife sideways. And slide it down the back like that too. Don't get quite as much meat doing it that way, but it works. It's a lot faster. If you're filleting a lot of fish, I'd probably go with that way. Now we're gonna go ahead and skin it. It's just real light. Again, this is very soft skin on these fish, so you don't wanna cut through it. So we're gonna use just the weight of the knife, having a very sharp knife here. Stankos hold a blade really well, but still you wanna make sure you're always sharpening your knives. Get rid of the skin. And that's what we're left with. Nice clean fillet. There's some bones in there we're gonna cut out. Just cut an angle like that. And that. And that's pulling out the bloodline also. Now this fish was bled, so you can see the meat looks very nice. One little section of ribs right there, we're gonna ditch. Put that off the side, same thing on this one. Quick little rinse off. All right, then we're just kind of portioning it out a little bit, probably end up frying these. 
So we're just kind of doing little nuggets. To the bag. There we go. All right, time for the second one. We're gonna start off the same way. Just work down the backbone. about halfway in and go that knife over the backbone. Finish up through the head. Very clean fillets. out that rib section. And those pin bones. Here, we're gonna go and do something a little different. Instead of skinning them, we're gonna cut into big chunks. The skin cooks off just like on Pompano. And then you take these big chunks and cut them just about down to the skin and fold them over like that. And that's how we're gonna be cooking them. We're leaving that skin on there. It gives it a different taste. If you don't like fishy fish, this definitely has a little bit of a fishy taste to it, but Still good stuff. Let's get the rest of that bloodline out. So like all these little medallions is what we're gonna do with this one. And we're gonna go ahead and do that to the same side, or same thing on the other side. Same thing down here. And then we'll catch up with you in the kitchen. So it's mackerel cooking time. Uh, what we got here, just got a little egg wash going. We got our mackerel in our Angry Birds bag. We got some breadcrumbs, use whatever kind you like. We got some oil heated up over here, a plate to put them on, and tongs. So switch hats, take off that hat. Put on the action hat, and the fish is already rinsed. So remember we kind of scored them right there. We're just gonna get them in the egg wash. And then right into the breadcrumbs. And then into the pan. We're going to do that on all of them. So go over and get the inside. And there we go. So we're going to cook them like that for a couple minutes. And then uh, we're just going to kind of flip them and then end up rolling them too onto all the sides. Looking good. Starting to flip the thinner ones now. Only takes a couple minutes. They're nice and crispy. We'll leave those bigger ones going for a little bit longer. Let's get these bigger ones flipping. These little ones are almost done. We'll get them on the sides for a little. Now we got them all standing up on their sides. We're gonna do a couple more turns on them to get all the sides nice and crispy, and then they'll be done. Mackerel nuggets, they're getting there. 
think we're just about ready. Went ahead and added a paper towel here to absorb any extra oil. Here we go. So there they are, they're all done. You can eat them just like this or you can add some kind of dipping sauce. Mackerel nugget. Hot, but it's really good. Oh, it's hot. We've already been snacking on them a little bit. Um, really little crispy things. You can see there, very white meat. And then that in the center, that's that skin. It does give it a little bit of flavor, but it's not by any means like a real fishy fish or a real gross fish. It's just a white flaky meat and really, really good. You can add whatever dipping sauce you like. We're in a rush, don't really have anything right now, getting ready to get out of the house. But they're good, so try it out that way. Try out some other fish that way. And we'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and you can also follow on Instagram at H2O Vinyl Designs. And one more, the website H2OVinylDesigns.com. If you want to order any of my hats or stickers, that's where you can see them. So we will see you guys in the next video. Later.